Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Aries. So Aries or cross watcher. Whether you have this planetary placement, please only claim this from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. All right, let's hit this clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Aries. Aries, we are working with energy. Energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody that's in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yes? Yes. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the Romance Angels today. Here we go. Romance Angels for Aries. Aries, please. Please, ancestors. Thank you. Aries. What's going on? Oops. Okay, here we go. You have... Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Some of you are getting new love. It could be new love with, the, with someone from your past. Could be. Or it could just be new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So it's half and half. Look at that. Well, there are a lot of you out there, Aries. And by the way, thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you acknowledge that fact. We appreciate you and we love you. Okay, here you go. Passion. Either way, whether you guys are hooking up with somebody from the past and reconciling, or you're getting new love, it's going to be passionate. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Well, you don't have to tell an Aries that, right? Well, gods and goddesses of war, firstborn zodiac, natural-born leaders, show them how it's done Aries, right? Okay, show me Aries. Aries, if you need to contact me for any reason at all, that information is in the box below. And by the way, thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Okay, so some of you here might not be feeling very social. You got a three cups that hit the board first, okay? Um, this is a problem. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So three cups is in reverse, meaning that you feel isolated or lonely or you're spending a lot of time in solitude. There's some kind of imbalanced social life here where you're not feeling like you want to interact with people. Problem is here, yeah, look at your challenges, the lovers. Looks like you have a soulmate union coming in, okay? Or it's here already. However, this is going to work for you, like I said. Obviously, right? Some of you got a new one coming in. Some of you are reconciling with somebody from the past. Whatever way, there's passion here. You're going to have to make a decision to come out of your shell, Aries. I mean, you know, Gemini energy, it's the lovers. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a match. <laughs> That's what this is. So, yeah, it's a, you know, decision time. It's time to make a decision not, not to be so antisocial, Aries. Here we go. I mean, if you ever want to get laid again, you know, this is what I want to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. What's at the foundation of the situation for Aries? Aries at the foundation of this situation. Oh, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you might have been going through a hard time financially or, you know, maybe you weren't being very sensible or maybe you were insecure or you were having some kind of conflict with work or home, you know, could have been some kind of financial situation. Maybe you weren't putting much effort into something or... You know, that is an energy of somebody, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, who's maybe a little selfish, maybe self-absorbed, maybe only concerned, you know, about their own, doing your own thing. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, crowning, crowning Aries. What's crowning? So, you know, it could have been a financial situation as well, though. Whatever it was that made you feel antisocial. But now I think, like, love is here. So you're going to, I'm seeing the love boat. Love is in the air. The love, oh my God, the love boat. Now I'm really telling you how old I am. Show me what's crowning. <laughs> Somebody just got purple hair. They got their hair tied purple. Got a page of ones in reverse crowning you. Okay, so you, listen, this could be you or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. But the page of ones in reverse, not, I mean, it's, it's, it could be somebody much younger. It could be somebody that's very immature. In reverse, this is somebody who just does things without thinking. They're very impatient. They lack any kind of consideration for anybody because they're too busy rolling around doing what they want to do, just trying to enjoy the moment. No responsibility, like just being completely, um, yeah, reckless. Very reckless. So I hope that's not you being reckless. Don't get reckless on us now. Let's see what's going on. What's coming in for Aries, please? Show me. All right. Look, the whole bottom row came out. So you're going to complete some kind of cycle. 
And that's really good. I mean, we like it. Okay, well, this is really good now, Aries. So whatever this is, you know, you know, it could be somebody else you're dealing with here that's just childish and reckless. Anyway, you've completed the cycle with that, whether this is you or somebody else. It's an accomplishment. It's an achievement. You got the memo. You you know, you got the assignment. You passed with flying colors. Somebody's drinking like pina coladas with cherries and pineapples in them. Looks really good. Um, mm, that looks really good. Okay, so you have this Ace of Wands here. You have some kind of new passionate beginning. The ending of whatever this is for you is giving you a feeling of some kind of new energy, a new spark of creation or enthusiasm, some kind of new confidence you're getting here. The match lit under your ass. It's it's passion. It could also be this person here, this this new lover lover. You know, whether it's somebody reconciling or somebody new coming in. It's going to be half and half. In the meantime, in your environment, look at you. You're standing here protecting yourself. Anybody coming towards you, for, even for love here, it's like you're chasing them away, Aries. What are you doing? Standing your ground, defending yourself, being very protective of yourself. I, I see you flotting, swatting off flies. Like, what are you doing, Aries? You, you're being very, um, you're being overly protective is what you're doing and antisocial. And this is what? Some of you are never going to get laid if you keep doing this, all right? You're completed with that cycle. Go with this passionate new beginning here. Make the decision. Get out there and enjoy yourself a little bit, Aries. That's what spirit wants you to do. you got a knight of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy for some kind of energetic, courageous, free-spirited. I'm going to go out, you know, and enjoy myself. I'm going to live in the moment. I'm in for a good time, not for a long time. And I've got to enjoy myself. I really think that spirit wants some of you to get out of this cocky-ass energy here of not, you know... Like, I'm getting a real tight-ass energy. Like, you don't go out. You don't want to do nothing. You just... What is it? Go out. You have to, you know, experiences, experience other energies. And get laid. I really feel like some of you are on a dry spell over here. It's enough, okay? We know that you could, you know, do the chastity thing. We know, okay? No good. Nobody could be selling it better than an Aries. But you get, you know, it's time. You're the most passionate sign, one of them, right? Yeah. What's the advice and spirit going on over here? This is just crazy. The queen. All right, Aries. I mean, there you go, babies. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Be yourself. Seed in your power. You are confident. You are passionate. You are self-assured. You're charismatic. You're vibrant. You're optimistic. You're beautiful. You're intimidating. You're assertive. You're action-oriented. Go for it. Stand in your power, Aries. Show them how it's done. Gods and goddesses of war, first point of the zodiac, natural born leaders. This is what you need to be doing. Now, don't be a nine of ones. Nine of ones, yeah. Resilience up the ass, not taking no for an answer, and still standing. Of course, I'm still standing. I'm hearing, who's that, Elton John? I'm still standing. Yeah, you're still standing, you know. But you, are you standing alone? Why are you standing alone? Go stand with somebody else and have some fun. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. It's turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma is on your side. Decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. There's going to be a lot of decisions here. Look at this. You got the three of the seven of cups. What am I seeing this three of swords about? There's some kind of emotional pain, so be careful. You got a three of swords here. There could be some kind of emotional pain to a decision you have to make. Be very discerning in the in decisions that you're making or who you're picking here. You do, you're going to get some kind of truth here. i got to see what's going on here. You're going to get a 10 of pentacles. Oh, that's good. I'm happy to see that. You got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 megahertz. Let me see this. i got to see what's going on, Aries. All right? We all know that I'm an Aries too. I'm just as nosy as you guys. All right, so the nine of wands. We're being resilient here. We're standing our ground. The wheel of fortune is turning in our favor, but it's going to open up a lot of doors and a lot of options for us. But the thing is, you've got to be really careful about the decisions you make here because what, some of them could lead to some kind of emotional pain or a third party situation, you know. But you will find out. The truth will set you free. This is, you know, these are the facts. You're going to find out some kind of facts. You may have to chill out a minute and try to see things from a different point of view. Or maybe you feel like your hands are tied or trapped in a situation. But you will be rewarded here with some kind of uh, financial stability, legacy, roots, tradition, wealth, some kind of privilege. Oh, look, and then the Empress. Somebody might be having a baby. But it looks like you're going to be very happy here with this. All right, it's all going to work out really good, Aries. I'm excited. All right, let's get you some kippers first. All right, let me see. Show me. The 21st of the month, the 6th or the 3rd could be of significance here. Let's see. You have change. I'm hearing, I'm hearing David Bowen. Ch -ch -ch change and turn and face the strange. Ch -ch -ch changes. Okay, so whatever the hell that song by David. I think it's David Bowie. Why would I even remember that? But you got the 9th. So the 9th could be of significance. Maybe you were born on the 9th of the month. There's some kind of change. Whether it's your emotional status, your mental status, your single status, your diet, where you live, where you work, your friends. Somebody's hitting the jackpot over here, number 11. Your finances, maybe some of you are going to, you know, come up here. It's like a come up. I'm here to come up. 
Okay. <laughs> he had 777. That could be of significance. 11th or the second. I got 1111. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me see what else we got. It could be an angel code as well. What else, Kipper? Some kind of sudden wealth. I'm telling you. We got the Ten of Pentacles over here. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. Ten. Some kind of journey you might have to go on. A change in the journey. A lot of you are either going to be traveling, taking a vacation, moving or moving somewhere. You know, something like this. There's going to be a significant change coming. Yeah, I'm hearing this is a significant change in the wind. What? Some, maybe with somebody's occupation. Somebody can't stop thinking about somebody here. There's unexpected income again. Maybe, oh God, somebody might pass away, Aries. This is where you might get it from. I hope not. Yeah, let's leave that. Okay, so let me just say, we're going to give you um, 417. 417 megahertz or 888 megahertz. Remove negativity. We're going to remove all negativity, Aries. The 10th, 11th, the 9th. Show me. Let me give you 43 here. Show me, Aries. What do you want to say to Aries, please? Here we go. You have air magic. So, you know, some of you might have air in your chart. Maybe you don't. But, you know, maybe you just need to get out and get some air. Fresh air. Uh, maybe some of you need to get out of the house a little bit more. Maybe some of you need to light some air scent. Uh, you know, some air scent things like incense. Joy and delight. So, see what I'm saying? Go out and enjoy yourself. What am I telling you? What am I telling you? Be free-spirited. Look at this. Looks like a kid having a fun in the field here. Yeah. Somebody's like on an all-fruit diet. Somebody likes to hang out just with their pets. There is some hot man around. I don't know who this person is. They might have like a ponytail or a man bun and some kind of facial hair here. Somebody likes... I'm hearing... Somebody's like a... They like birds or they have... Maybe some kind of a bird. Somebody's like an animal lover. Somebody like rather hang out with the animals than anybody else. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe you're the type of person who wants to hang out with the animals. You don't want to be around people anymore for whatever reason. Um, it could be different for everybody. But that's got to change. There's going to be some kind of change in this situation. Because love is here, Aries, I'm telling you. Hibernation and, and what is this? Rejuvenation. Regeneration. So that's like, you know, that's like the four swords getting rest and healing. Healing and contemplating your next steps forward. How are you going to enjoy yourself? Affirmation for healing in the heart. What am I telling you? Some of you maybe are still healing some kind of a heart issue. I don't know, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like you just need to come out of this shell, whatever this reclusive energy is here. I'm hearing wheel, wheel the wheel, the wheel in the sky. Oh, and I'm hearing... Oh, who's this journey? The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. So something about that song, maybe journey. You're going to go on a journey. Voila. There. <laughs> Voila. Somebody's going to get some kind of eureka. Voila. I dare you. Okay. Somebody cooks chicken. Voila. I don't even know what that is. Okay. So let's just see. Somebody's drinking tea. Mm -mm. Somebody likes light, like light beer, light things. I don't know. Here we go. Two A, two E's. A, E. Two, okay, let's call it back. A, two E's, I, and two U's. Then you have two L's, a W, and a T. All right, so whatever that means for you. Thank you so much, Aries. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.